The coast of North East England is among the country's most picturesque and rugged. 150 miles of coastline punctuated with golden sand beaches, landmarks and industry from Scarborough to Berwick. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic putting restrictions on movement, Locals like myself are still appreciating the coast and our daily exercise. From key workers in the NHS to police officers, supermarket staff and more, we can't forget the people who are still working around the clock 365 days a year to save lives along the coast. Because sometimes it doesn't take long for a swim in the sea a walk along a pier or a climb on the rocks to turn into a coastal emergency. The village of Tynemouth, known for its Long Sands Beach, Collingwood Monument and annual Mouth of the Tyne Festival, held in the grounds of the Priory. Also home to the Watch House from which the Time Mile Volunteer Life Brigade operate. As the first voluntary maritime rescue company in the country, former captain and watch house director Dave Bell gave me an insight as to why the TVLB was formed. So we were started in 1864, mm -hmm. which is 156 years ago, after the wrecks of three ships. There were three ships ashore on the Black Midden Rocks on, in Time Mouth. Those three ships resulted in, well, 35 people lost their lives with that many people dying in front of the people at Time Out because everybody came down to watch. Um, there was a huge public outcry, massive. And a guy called John Morrison came up with the idea of having a, a band of trained men that could help the Coast Guard in times of maritime emergency. And so, on the 5th of December 1864, with the help of local dignitaries John Foster Spence and his brother Joseph, the Time Mouth Volunteer Life Brigade was born. Down on Maine, down on safety. Today specialising in rope and water rescue as well as coastal search and rescue, the brigade initially practised as a shorter ship Breach's Boy rescue team. Breach's Boy is exactly what it says. Mm -hmm. It's a life boy with a pair of pants attached. It used to happen, you'd throw a line to the ship and the crew would haul the line in and on that line would be a pulley system and that, once the pulley system was on the ship the guys on shore could haul a breeches boy out to them a man would get in the boy and we'd haul him ashore we're now probably the only company left that can put a breeches boy onto, onto a ship so with 30 years experience in the brigade and over 600 call outs during his time in the rescue team what was it like balancing work life with home? Were you ever with him when his pager ever went off? Oh yes, many a time. <laughs> Suddenly be going out for the day to do a bit of shopping and then all of a sudden the alarm goes off and I'm like, I want to go to Morrison's but I'm going down the coast. <laughs> he, has done a, he has done a lot of good, you know what I mean? I can see it, you know, and he takes a lot of pride in it as well. He'd done his 30 years and he could say, obviously, like anybody, we're all getting older. So obviously the aches and pains and what have you. And at times I was thinking, David, you want to give this up? You're really a daughter. He's not a spring chicken anymore. Oh, that's right, yeah. Spring chicken or not, the community spirit combined with his immense pride in the work of the brigade has kept Dave going over the years. This feels like you're giving something back. Yeah. Feels like I'm helping in some way. Um, it's also good fun. Lucy Clayton, Tyne Mouth.